screen and make shadow so we are able to see the surfaces but here there is a surface but we are unable to uh, there is some error associated with that surface we will fix all those things so in a wireframe there is a surface there is no error but in the viewing as, as a surface there is some error and here and all We need to fix all these things. Okay, uh, I will start from the tail. So if I start from the tail, I can just see that there is no continuity between these two surfaces. So go to undelete and just rotate the mouse so that you can see this one this surface and its center line so select which surface to undelete by selecting its center line and click center click and perform the top operation on that specified region delete that surface And I have the bounding edges so I just go to cones and select all the bounding th parameters okay and press escape as of right now uh, so since I have created a new surface using the cones function it is asking to whether you want to name the surface or not so i will uh, name the surfaces uh, at the final stage uh, cancelling it by pressing escape so there is surface with proper uh, future curves so here we have we are going to split this surface so going to cut and I am going to cut this one surface this surface by two so cut so the surface has been splitted so likewise I am going to perform here also now I am just going to uh, delete all these things so because it, it is comprised of many uh, small small surfaces which may make some difficulty while meshing so however I am not going to miss any details but I am just going to make it as a simple surface so I will achieve this by deleting the faces press ctrl z if you want to undo so i just need to delete this face so i can select one by one or otherwise i can go for angle selection and select one degree so it will just automatically picks up uh, the surfaces which are connected with that uh, angle D I, I entered and just unselect it by uh, hovering your mouse from uh, left right to left So I just, I just so I have selected the necessary surfaces.
to be deleted so i delete all those things and there is one one more small surface so i will delete that also so i go to cones and here there are lot of hard points which are unwantedly located here so i just going to delete the hard points go to cones and select all these things oh not this one because it since it's looped it has selected this one so i just go to entity and deselect this one this one and click cones accept this surface and don't name it right now so i have a surface which is located at here okay control s to save so here after uh, there is some error at here so we have to fix this thing so for that i need to view the surface but it's not visible yeah current model has been updated so go to settings and then resolution curves you increase it to 100 and for perimeters it's 500 and apply and click ok and ok so we have some free edge at here so this may be due to the edge of the one surface this one surface is not been uh, connected with the, that one so uh, we can perform a topo operation so we have some just make it as full screen uh, switch on the cross hatch and I am going to delete this face and this face also and just go to cones and use the loop option to close this cone okay I can use fill holes in order to but I won't get the future curves so I just click cancel and undo it once again I will undo so there are some unwanted hard points which are splitting the surface Mm, so I will delete those hot points ok and I will make the cones make again the cones ok so that has been good and I need to make up this one And I will do that later. I will finish this one. Here there is an error. So I, will, I just delete that face. And I just view that there is a short face has to be found. So uh, I will do it by to splitting this one. So I am just projecting this hard point over here. So the hard point has not been projected that's why I am putting here also one hard point. So by adding a hard point you go to cones and deselect the loop kind of selection and select it to entity 
and if you go and pick it will stop where you put your hard point so from here you can make a surface and and from here you have you can make another one surface so go to cones and now you can use your loop kind of selection in order to save the time okay so we have closed that thing so control and shift gives the wireframe mode at any time so we just require a outer surface alone outer surface of the wing so it has engine with nacelle and flow di uh, flow streamliners this device is for streamlining the flow in the bottom uh, portion and there are slats these surfaces are called as slats this one this one this one this one so these are leading edge slats these are trailing edge flaps <coughs> so flaps will be located at the trailing edge so this may be the aileron because in order to provide an effective control if I generate a little movement at the wing tip then I will my body will face a high force I need a DZ so it's around 29 meters up to here but it's up to 39 meters in the Z direction so if I just make some 1 or 2 degree deflection in this aileron then I may get a high turning moment to my aircraft so so these are the things however I am not going to consider these slat mechanisms and uh, these flap mechanisms and all I am just going to consider this total wing to be uh, like what you are seeing in the CAD it, it won't deflect during the analysis just a static one these uh, wing surfaces will act like a wall so that a boundary layer forms and on the airplane surfaces also these are walls everything every surfaces which you are currently seeing are walls in in our analysis point of view